So, what we are going to study now is nucleus. Just like cell is having a security ring, the nucleus also has to have obviously, because palace is even more valuable right. All the important things, important documents, the treasure, everything is inside the palace. So, the nucleus is also covered by nuclear membrane, which is again made up of proteins and lipids. This is also selectively permeable. Now, it is not as if nucleus is just a bubble, it has proper structure inside. And what is that structure? Inside the nucleus, we find there is a jumbled mass of threads. This is called chromatin material. And there are also one or more rounded bodies called nucleolus. Chromatin material is like your noodles. You do not know from where they are starting and where they are ending or sometimes when your ball of wool gets entangled something like that, but it does not always remain like that. When the cell is preparing to divide, if you see it a cell dividing, you will find that these are actually seen as single individual threads and these threads are called chromosomes. Chromosomes are very important. The chromosomes are made up of two compounds. One is a nucleic acid, the DNA and protein. The functional segment of DNA is called a gene, not the genes that you wear, G E N E, gene functional segment of DNA. It is also the unit for inheritance. That means, all the heredity information which passes from parents to the offsprings is through genes. So, this is the structure of nucleus. Do all organisms have same type of structure? No. If we study bacteria or blue green algae, what we find is that nucleus does not have the nuclear membrane and also the number of chromosome is only one. Such cells which have this kind of simple or primitive nucleus are called prokaryotic cells. The word karyotic is for nucleus. Examples of pro prokaryotic cells are bacteria, blue green algae. So, what is their nucleus called? Because it is not so well developed, it is called nucleoid. Whereas, if we go to higher organisms, the multicellular organisms, what we find that nucleus is properly developed. That means, it is covered by nuclear membrane. There can be more than one chromosomes. The size is comparatively bigger size of the cell and the cell organelles which are the subcellular parts, they are also covered by cell membrane. In the case of prokaryotic cells, the cell organelles were not covered by cell membranes. Now, these kind of organisms are called eukaryotic. So, what are the features of eukaryotic cells? First, the size is from 1 micro mu to 100. Second, well defined nucleus. Third, membrane bound nucleus and the cell organelles.
then more chromosomes. If you see a cell under the electron microscope, you will see much more than nucleus and cytoplasm. So, first of all what you will see is cytoplasm. Outside the nucleus there is a viscous jelly like substance which is called cytoplasm. The term protoplasm is used when we are referring to both cytoplasm and nucleus. Many students get confused between these two terms. They think they are probably same, but they are not. Cytoplasm is only the jelly like substance and protoplasm is both cytoplasm and nucleus. You can remember it like this cytoplasm plus nucleus is equal to protoplasm. Now, this cytoplasm is not a homogeneous mass. It is not as if it is just one thing. Inside it also there are many things and these are the subcellular parts which are called cell organelles. Like mitochondria, like Golgi bodies, centrosomes and in case of plants plastids. So, these cell organelles are there plus there are some organic and inorganic compounds which are called cell inclusions. So, in next what we are going to study is what all is present in the cytoplasm. Now, just imagine a cell which itself is so tiny then inside that cell we get went in. So, nucleus was the palace, but there is also a city around the palace. So, this cytoplasm is like that city and within that there are monuments, there are buildings, there are schools, there are industries, all these things are there just like any other city or any other city kingdom. So, now from the palace into the city.